Yeah, I mean, it's been, we know there's been some really tough times across the industry with, with, with you know, companies changing the way they work. In some cases, some newsrooms not having a physical HQ anymore. I mean, that would be a seismic shift for the, for the BBC. Um, but I also think, as I said, you know, there's been a, an opportunity for, for digital teams to become kind of the mainstream way of working. And, and one thing I've really noticed because I work at World Service is perhaps in the past with us being in London as our kind of main um, hub of, of creative activity, when we've worked with teams from around the world, so our bureaus and also contributors from other parts of the world, we've tended to have them piped in uh, you know, into our meetings, but those that are in the room are obviously gonna have a stronger connection or have a louder voice literally in some cases. So I think that there's been a sort of um, a democratizing aspects of, of this strange world where we're, we're just 2D beings now, because I can have a meeting and I have had fantastic creative meetings with somebody who's in India, somebody's in Nigeria, somebody's in the US, and we're all equals because there isn't a dominant sort of London voice there or the sense of the people around the physical table getting more of a say. We're all equals. So I do think there's something to hang on to there, but I also acknowledge that it's been really tough for people who who no longer do have a physical space to return to or, or whose jobs have entirely changed during this time.